Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, How to Make 35% Margin on Rack Mount IT Mount Kits. Uh, so today we have a team from Rack Mount. So we have Sam Gutierrez, we have Michaela Casalana, and Jason Pickruff. So I completely apologize, guys, if I butchered your last names. Uh, so without uh, further ado, I'll uh, pass it over to you, Sam. Okay. Uh, thank you, Josh. Uh, Everybody, thanks for joining today um, and taking time out of your day. I know everybody's busy. So um, as we go through this presentation, um, it should take about 10 to 15 minutes just to get through the deck. Uh, but if at any time uh, you have a question um, uh, related to anything that we're discussing, just feel free to chime in or throw it into the questions uh, tab on the navigation, and we'll try to help you out the best we can. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and get started now. So uh, just a brief company history. Um, we were founded in 2010 by this gentleman named Eric Cantino. He was a Fortinet reseller for a really long time. He owned a company called Secure Layers, uh, which he's now sold. Um, but when he was running the company, he was getting pretty frustrated with the Forta trays um, that he was supplying to his customers, mainly because he was running into um, just typical issues that you get when you um, you know, stack appliances on the tray or you mount it in the cabinet, things like that. Um, some things were happening that he wasn't really happy with, um, along with the actual cost point of the port tray uh, But he decided to design his own uh, rack mount kit at a more cost-effective price point, and he introduced it to his customer base, and it went really well. Uh, customers love it, and he felt that he had a unique and a good product to kind of grow. So in 2011, he decided to branch off and do rack mount kits for SonicWall, Cisco, and WatchGuard. And from 2011 till 2015, um, he decided to grow the channel in EMEA. Um, this company is based in the Netherlands. Um, and uh, it went really well. Uh, he decided to hire some new employees, uh, really to focus on the rack mount IT line while he was still managing secure layers. Um, and then between 2015 and 2017 um, is when I met Eric. And uh, he decided to contact me and uh, I brought in Jason and we opened up an office in Austin, Texas in 2017. And between 2017 until now, uh, we've now generated uh, over $6 million in business. And just between the last year, we've launched uh, over 10 new products across four or five different product lines. So this is our team. Uh, again, my name is Samuel Gutierrez. I'm Vice President of the Americas. We have Jason Pickerel, who's the Marketing Manager of Americas. And our newest employee is Michaela Castellana. Uh, she is going to be assisting um, Sam, I mean, myself and Jason on the sales marketing side. And then Ashley Ronkarate, who's our Operations Specialist. Uh, she's kind of your go-to for all um, inventory questions, um, any, really anything related to the logistics of the business. So let's get into um, kind of the reason why uh, we develop the products that we do. Um, so typically, if you go into a, um, a small office, like in a franchise restaurant or retail space or a small business that has multiple locations, they have an IT cabinet in the back. Um, and this is typically what we've seen in the field. Uh, they'll have a big switch. They'll have another appliance. And if they're using a small desktop appliance, it's usually stacked on top of other appliances with cables going everywhere. And so this was one of the frustration points that Eric would see when he was running his business. And he felt that he could really resolve a lot of the issues that were happening uh, just, just based on the experiences that he was having. So the solution um, is really started with the perfect firewall kit. Uh, we now branch off into um, other appliances, which I'll discuss later. Uh, but the first thing that, uh, that we do is we bring the, uh, make sure that the appliance and the power supply are actually fixed to the rack mount kit. And uh, what this ensures is that the power supply is not going to become disconnected from the actual appliance, which uh, did happen a lot. And if you're an MSP or if you're managing devices in the field or um, you have a customer that's having issues with, with their network, um, this is kind of a go-to pain point that, that where a lot of it, a lot of it starts. Um, it could be disconnected just from user error, somebody bumping into it, somebody stacking something on top of it. Um, so this, this security just makes sure that the power supply does not become disconnected from the, from the actual appliance. The next thing is custom airflow cutouts. And so 
as I stated, uh, people tend to stack appliances on other appliances, especially if they're not racked. Um, so since this is racked and it's secured, we make sure that there's uh, airflow cutouts on the side or top to bottom, wherever they're at on the actual appliance we're supporting to ensure that the appliance is properly cooled, ventilated, doesn't glitch out through overheating. And then we bring connections from the back to the front. Um, so this is a big selling point for um, anybody that's really doing the installs or maintenance on the appliance. Um, if you ever worked in a cabinet environment or a networking environment, for the most part, all the connections are in the front except for the firewall. And so um, if you're doing maintenance to it and the connections aren't on the front, it becomes a hassle. It's not easy to access. You've got to pull everything out, uh, turn the appliance around just to mess with the port. So um, this is a big selling point. Uh, the engineers, solution architects, again, anybody that's working on this loves this feature. And then all the ports are labeled um, on the front, so you, you know where everything's going. Uh, some of our rack mount kits do have uh, fiber ports now, uh, so if the appliance has uh, the ability to support it, we will put in fiber ports, a console port, and a USB um, input. And then all of our cables and couplers are CAT6 rated. The average MSRP for most of our units is around 139. So here are all the brands that we support. Um, again, we started off with Fortinet and it kind of expanded off from there. So um, the two newest ones from, uh, from the scene is Apple and Aruba. Those just came on this past quarter. And as you can see from the rack on kits, we really try to match the, the color and the branding to the manufacturers that we're supporting. Um, this just gives it a really nice clean look, looks good in the cabinet when it's racked, everything's nice and tidy. So across all of the uh, supported brands, these are all the models that we support. So um, for every single one of these models, um, there's some rack mount kits that do fit um, a couple of the, of the models from the brand just because they have the same form factor, um, but everything is custom fit to the actual clients that we're supporting. Um, and if there's something that you don't see on here that you feel could be a good fit for what we do, uh, we're more than open to suggestions on building new rack mount kits for uh, appliances that we haven't supported yet. Um, that's actually how we've uh, designed a lot of our rack mount kits across these brands is really just feedback from resellers, feedback from um, end customers or custom projects that we're working on. So a few customers, uh, since we opened up in 2017, uh, we definitely noticed a, um, a type of customer that was coming to us the most, and that's mainly franchise restaurants, retail spaces, any multi-location business that has multi, you know, a lot of locations everywhere that are small office or small, uh, small buildings that aren't going to be using enterprise type um, appliances or equipment. And so uh, a lot of these guys did reach out direct. Um, and what we tend to do, we don't really like working direct business. So we um, ask them if they're working with reseller. If they're not, we'll introduce them to resellers. Um, so um, as long as we have good relationships with the partners that we're working with, we're more than happy to um, kind of funnel these leads to, to the partners that we are working with. Um, a lot of them were national rollouts. Uh, Starbucks is an ongoing project started beginning of last year and it's continuing um, as new stores open up. So uh, they decided to standardize our rack mount kit in all the new Starbucks that are open. Um, we're now expanding into Canada just starting this year. So um, hopefully that can kind of take a global presence, but definitely an uh, awesome project that we're that we're working with. Um, and the same for a lot of these other guys. Um, Sonic was about a year and a half ago. That was 3,200 stores nationwide. Um, so if you're working with any of these types of customers or you have any projects or opportunities tied to um, this, this vertical, it's definitely a good opportunity to bring the rack on IT line into uh, the mix, especially if it's for a product that you know that we support that they're currently working with. So real quick on the, the Starbucks project, and I'll talk about this one and then one more right after this. Um, so again, they had reached out beginning of last year um, and they wanted to do a network refresh on the Meraki line. Uh, but for the Meraki MX line series, um, there was no rack mount kit specifically for that unit. And they didn't want to put the firewall uh, just stacked on a switch um, or kind of like from the picture that you saw before, they didn't want that happening. And so they did some research, they found our product, and um, after some, some talks and kind of discussions on what the rollout looked like, we were able to sort of support them with our MR, uh, MCIT4 rack mount kit. 
um, which is specific to the M64 and the M67. Um, so it supports both of these devices. Uh, we're now in a thousand stores, and uh, hopefully we can expand that into, again, a global uh, position for our product. Costco, we closed um, Q4 of last year. Uh, so Costco had reached out to us uh, to design a new product. They had reached out to Cisco um, and Cisco had provided them with a, I think it was like ears or some type of racking um, equipment that they it just wasn't gonna meet their specs. And so they shopped, they, they looked around, they were seeing kind of who does custom stuff like this. They found us, they reached out and kind of gave us the project specs and we were able to uh, turn a prototype around in about four weeks. Uh, we delivered three different prototypes, uh, or three of the same prototypes um, to their field reps. They, they, they tested it, they installed it, they liked it, and ended up moving forward with us on the project. So uh, we just closed this out. Uh, Q1 uh, was our final order that just got shipped out. And now it's kind of like an ongoing thing as stores need them, they'll be using our rep on kits moving forward. So key points for increasing sales. Uh, as a reseller, you guys get 35% um, plus, depending on what type of uh, discounts you get on either volume or projects that you're working on, uh, but pretty pretty nice margin for you guys. So if you are working a large project, um, it's an easy add-on, especially if it's for a product that we support. Um, so the quickest way to start selling is really just to attach us to open firewall quotes or routers or switches that we support. Uh, really anything, um, in a bomb or a project that you're working on that you know that we can get tied into. If you pitch it as a standard rack on kit for that specific appliance, um, more than likely it's gonna it's gonna have a good sell-through rate. Um, typically when we see our rack on kits on quotes or running programs related to that, uh, we see about a 60 to 65 percent attach rate um, as long as it's introduced into the initial quote. And then look for projects. So projects like the Starbucks project that I talked about or the um, the Costco. Um, that's really the, the easiest and biggest opportunity for, I think, both of us, um, just increasing sales for both of our bottom lines, right? So if you have a large project, you know that they're going to be um, including a firewall or switch or router that we're supporting, they're going to need a racket somehow. So just instead of, you know, pitching a standard shelf or maybe ears that might come along with the appliance, um, it's a pretty easy sell-in to just include us into the actual project. Um, especially if you're working with uh, another solution engineer or architect, they'll take a look at our, our design and our solution and um, more than likely they'll end up liking the, uh, the option. And then also look for uh, custom product opportunities. So very similar to Costco. If you're working, again, another project or you're talking to a client that needs something but it's not currently in existence, um, just let us know and we're more than happy to take a look at the project specs. Uh, talk to the customer, we can talk directly with you and kind of work through what's needed. Uh, we can pretty much do anything. We have a kind of state-of-the-art production facility in the Netherlands where we're able to design and produce and deliver products within four to six weeks uh, for really any project. So uh, definitely keep this in mind as you're, as you're working through um, any project opportunities. So we ask that um, anybody interested in selling our products just to sign up on our partner portal. Um, so it's just uh, the URL that you see here. You, everybody here will get a um, copy of the presentation. Just click on the link. Uh, the form takes about five minutes to fill out. It'll get uh, sent to our authorization team. Um, if you're on this list, we'll uh, um, obviously authorize you and then you'll just be put into our system. And it's really just uh, to keep you onto our system so we know kind of who our partners are and uh, we're able to kind of track where sales are coming from. Processing orders, so everything's going to go through um, exclusive networks as our uh, preferred distributor for this, for this training. Um, any larger projects, 500 plus units, um, will have about a two to three month lead time. Uh, that's mainly because we have to produce and ship from the Netherlands. Um, we try to have a lot of it in stock for the most part for our top selling products, but if you're working through a project and you know it's going to be, you know, 500 or 1,000, 1,500 units plus, um, definitely give us a little bit ahead of time. That way we can start prepping and put it into the production schedule. And then for any custom projects, you can reach out directly to myself 
um, and my uh, email is there. Again, you'll have a copy of this presentation for reference. We do offer a lifetime warranty on our product. So if you ship out a product and it's missing a coupler or a cable, uh, just feel uh, shoot us an email and we'll ship one out immediately. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but we will honor um, the warranty for sure. Uh, we do accept RMA, so if, the, if your customer gets the rack on kit delivered and it's bent or damaged, and uh, uh, if you can tell it's a manufactured defect, just feel free to submit the RMA through exclusive and they'll process it through us and we'll get it worked out. So we're on uh, pretty much all the social media platforms. The two most important from here are YouTube and LinkedIn. Uh, YouTube is a great resource for install videos, our product over video, overview video. So if you're working with a customer and they want to know more about the Recon Kit, um, we should have a, an install video on YouTube that you can share. Um, they're usually about two minutes long and kind of go through the whole process of actually installing the kit. Um, LinkedIn is a great resource for any company news, product updates, really anything that's going on with the Rack and IT business and industry. And then Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is pretty much a mirror of whatever we send out on LinkedIn and YouTube. So that pretty much concludes the presentation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing here in a minute and open it up to any questions that you guys might have. Um, but again, you guys are going to have a copy of this presentation. Uh, all of our contact information is there. Uh, the emails and aliases that you can use. And then our PM um, is Alex York Wright at Exclusive Networks. And she's an awesome, great person to work with and uh, well versed on the Recommend IT line. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can always start there. And if anything needs to be um, kind of guided to us, she can definitely assess. So um, I will go ahead and stop sharing this and stop sharing my screen and then open it up to any questions that you guys might have. Awesome. So I do see a few here. Uh, so the first one is what is included in the package? So in the package, you'll get the rack mount kit, you'll get um, the cables, the couplers will, will already be into the rack. Uh, you also get zip ties, uh, screws that actually mount the appliance to the rack and the Allen wrench that goes on with tightening the screws. Uh, so pretty much everything you need to um, install the rack um, except for the actual appliance that it's supporting. Um, it will also come with um, in, an install guide. Um, right now we are transitioning from paper install guides to a um, QR code that you scan that will take you to pretty much all the resources you need to install that specific product. Um, and this just kind of helps out um, reducing the amount of paper that we use because um, we, we did some calculations and it's actually like pallets of paper that we're using for install guides when we can just uh, do a QR code to show the install video, which I think works better anyway. Okay, perfect. And then we also have, what is the turnaround time for filling an order? So um, as long as we get a PO in before 2 p.m. Central Time, it'll ship out same day. So um, you're going through exclusive. Exclusive is usually really quick about sending us orders. Um, as long as, again, as long as it's here before 2 p.m., it'll ship out the same day. Um, if it's here after 2 p.m., it'll ship out next day. And that's, that's really dependent on if we have a product in-house. Um, we are working with Exclusive um, on holding inventory. So currently they're holding a lot of coordinate inventory, but we are expanding that to uh, support the rest of our lines. Um, and that should happen here in the next couple of weeks. Perfect. So that seems to be all the questions. Okay. I think we still have the whole thing about the raffle, don't we? We do. Okay. So uh, I just need a number from one to 10 and I will randomize it. Let's do nine. Okay. So let me. Go ahead and randomize it. Oops, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the winner is, and I'm gonna completely butcher this name, so I apologize far in advance. 
but the winner is Handy Ashore. So congratulations. And we will make sure to reach out to you. To can we share what they can we share what they won real quick? Yeah, of course. I'll give you the screen. Sharing abilities. There we go. Let's see. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. So the winner won our Cinco de Mayo raffle. So it's a nice little gift basket with some tequila and goodies. So congrats on that. And thanks everybody who um, joined the webinar. Um, we'll be doing some more of these throughout the year. Um, so if you can join, um, you know, you're more than welcome to come back on for new product updates and things like that. But um, who was the winner again? What was his name? How are you? Uh, MD Ashore, but before we uh, log out, uh, there is one question that came in. Okay. And it is, uh, is there a minimum a number of units you have to sell per month slash year to stay on as a partner? No. So we're just, uh, we're happy that, you know, any partner really wants to partner with us and, and add our rack on kits to their line of business. So uh, there's no minimum order quantity or sell through rate to uh, stay on as a partner. Awesome. So that seems to be, oh, um, oh, okay. So this person says, oh, the winner, MD, said that I am a Muslim. I cannot have any alcohol. Okay, well then we can, um, we can shoot them and we'll shoot you an email and we can develop a, uh, another gift basket that might be more appropriate. So no problem there. Now, another question just came in. What new vendor line products do you see coming throughout this year? Um, so we're looking into Cradle Point, uh, Velo Cloud, um, some other ones, Zyzel, um, Black, uh, not Blackberry, um, Raspberry. So we're coming out with a new Raspberry Pi rack mount kit that supports three Raspberry Pis. Um, and that's pretty much it right now. Um, we are expanding um, our other lines into new pro or other brands that we support uh, on the new models that are coming out. Uh, but if there's a specific brand that you'd like us to look into or you sell a specific brand that you know moves a lot, um, that again, that's pretty much how we uh, grow the line of business that we do. It's really just taking feedback from partners that we work with and try to create custom solutions for specific appliances that they're selling. Awesome. And with that, uh, we will go ahead and end this webinar. So thank you everyone for joining and have a great rest of your day.